What's up, everybody? We are back with our second edition of playing through the original Plants vs. Zombies game. So, in the previous episode, we completed levels 1 through 5, really just basic intro tutorials. So now, this noob right here is going to take on level 6. Oh, that's not very nice. My son said loser's house. That's not very nice. I just noticed that. All right, put a little sun down. So I have one, two, three, five, I have five plants to work with now. So these zombies don't stand a chance. I'm going to plant some sunflowers. Why am I... Braids. I'm going to put a little potato mine there for them. Gonna burp. I don't know what the walnut nuts do again. I think they just eat them. So I'll put that there to slow them down until I get some uh, pea shooters, right? That's what I want, some pea shooters. Oh, I should have planted a pea shooter. That was stupid. I think I'll be fine, though. Need one more sun and I get that pea shooter. Uh, hurry up, hurry up. Let's go. There we go. Put them right there. Boom. Boom, boom. Put another little sunflower. You want at least one row of sunflowers, right, to give you some sun. I'll put that there to slow him down. A little potato mind. Mine, not mind. Boom. A little walnut, too, like I did last time. Whoop. Put a little... Oh, that was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. There's some ugly-looking zombies, that's for sure. Yeah, so this game came out like 2009 or 8 or something like that. So, you know, I didn't realize it was that old. First time we ever played this was, or my son ever played it, was at like Olive Garden. They had like those little iPads that you like ordered from and stuff. Um, I don't know if these, those are even still there. I haven't been to Olive Garden in a long time. But I remember this game was on those little uh, things that you pay the check and order on. At the Olive Garden and like restaurants like that. Cone heads, right? That's what they're brown shirts or whatever, brown jackets and cone heads. I don't I don't understand the potato mines and what what do they do if 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 they, they just eat them up. I thought they were supposed to blow them up. Alright, let's put that there. I got these cherry bombs. I think I'm going to wait on those. Have a little fun later. Put a little potato mine there. See if it does anything. Oh, so I didn't notice that. The zombies actually, like, they lose the cone. Then they lose an arm. So they, they actually, like, decay. Who's this guy? Where's this guy? A javelin guy? Slow him down. Put a little pea shooter there. Boom. See? You got 250 sun. I'm not a noob. I'm a pro. You know? Oh no, a javelin guy. I'm so scared. Ooh. Watch this. Boom! You see that? No so for you. Say hello to my little friends. That's from Scarface, by the way, all you youngins. No, bad. All right, I think I'm pretty stacked right now. What do you guys think? I think I'm a pro. Who came up with this theory, though? Like, I'm going to do plants versus zombies, you know, as a game. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a hit. I mean, there's, like, plants versus zombies, two, three... That came out like not too long ago, and there's that uh, PlayStation one, which is actually pretty cool. Battle for uh, Neighborville or something like that. I didn't say I'm an expert in Plants for Zombies. I'm a noob. I like to put the uh, potato mines as far away from the house as possible, so they don't damage my front door. 
Right? It's my front yard, right? Cherry bomb. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We got a commercial. We got the uh, frozen pea shooter. All right, thank you guys so much for watching our Plants vs. Zombies uh, playthrough. So uh, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button. Hit a big thumbs up for us. We appreciate all your support. If you're still watching this video, you are a true loyal subscriber, and we appreciate you. We'll see you guys next time.